Hey guys, welcome back to Centipede Central. Today I wanted to review uh, about six things that centipede grass absolutely loves. If you wanted your centipede yard to kind of take off and, and react positively uh, to what you're doing, this is what it needs to look its best, kind of in summary. Um, number one is definitely sunshine. So as you can see behind me, I've got a good bit of shade back here, but it does get its fair amount of sun. The parts of the yard that look their best obviously get the most sun. So a lot of the partial shade areas that I have kind of struggle a little bit more and they aren't quite as dense and lush as the parts that get the sunshine. So that's pretty obvious, but you know, it's not as bad as Bermuda as far as sunlight and shade go. If you have shade in Bermuda, it won't, it has no chance of growing, but centipede can grow in partially shaded areas, but you, you really need sun for it to look its best. Number two, I'd say is mowing at the right height though. The right height is very important. If, you, if you're mowing your centipede lawn at like three inches, three, four inches, that's a little bit too tall. You're gonna have some thatch problems. Thatch is kind of the layer, a spongy layer that develops when the stolons, the stolons are the runners on top of the soil if that cutting height is too high, those runners that grow have nowhere to tack down into the soil. So if you're mowing it really tall, you know, it just makes sense that it's not gonna have anywhere to go and that's gonna create that thatch layer. Uh, if you, the ideal height for centipede is between one and two inches. Um, so if you mow consistently at that height, you're gonna see a lot of really good results. The more you mow, uh, the healthier the grass is gonna be because you're only cutting off a little bit at a time. You don't want to come out and cut like half of the length of the blade off. It's going to stress the grass out. So mowing at the right height is very important. That's number two. Number three, I'd say, is the right amount of nitrogen every year. And notice I didn't say that centipede loves nitrogen. It loves the right amount of nitrogen. So if you're feeding it too much throughout the year, you're going to see some uh, problems with centipede. It doesn't like high doses of nitrogen so anything between i mean you can get away with not even fertilizing centipede and it looking okay if you have sun and mow and the right amount of water but i don't really recommend that but you can get away with that but the right amount of nitrogen is really important so that's in between like half a pound per thousand square feet all the way up to about a pound and a half per thousand square feet for the whole year if you go above that, you're really risking centipede decline and again, thatch problems and, and more bug issues like spittle bug in late summer. Number four would be potassium. Centipede loves potassium, but it really loves the right kind of potassium. The sulfate of potash or SOP, uh, or it's called potassium sulfate as well. Potassium is really good for overall health, uh, kind of disease resistance and drought resistance and things like that, especially heading into the fall. It's a good idea to, you know, give a feeding of potassium if you can, even if it's just a liquid. Uh, you're getting, you're, you won't be getting much down with a liquid, but it's better than doing nothing. So number five, I would say would be carbon, any type of carbon source. So that could be humic acid. It could be biochar, uh, things like that, that really you're nourishing the soil of the centipede. And I've seen a lot of really good results from that stuff. As far as water absorption goes, that carbon absorbs the water and it absorbs nutrients in the soil. Uh, so when you have drought conditions, it can help out with that because the water, it really utilizes those nutrients in the water effectively and efficiently. So I would say, you know, humic acid, biochar, some kind of soil conditioner product is really good on centipede. It loves that. Number six, I'd say, is iron and micronutrients. So it's not something that I feed very often. I mean, I might only do one or two applications a year, but if you want that color pop without the surge of growth that nitrogen provides, then, you know, you might want to get like a, a bottle of some micronutrients that has iron in it, chelated iron, and you'll see kind of a color response to that that the centipede's really gonna like. So these are six things that centipede loves. If you can kind of follow those kind of golden rules, so to speak, it's going to react in a positive way and you're gonna see a lot of, of good gains in your yard. I also have another video about things that centipede does not like. You might wanna check that out because there's 
this is kind of a good summary of things that it likes and it doesn't like and it, it may answer a lot of questions you have out there as to how to treat centipede in kind of a summary type way um, so I hope this was helpful you guys I know it was a quick video but those are six things that centipede is really going to respond well to and if you can follow those things your yard is going to reward you and it's you know it may take a little bit of time it's not going to happen overnight but if you do those on a consistent basis uh, those things you know feeding the right amount of nitrogen mowing consistently and at the right height potassium feedings with the right source of potassium if you can when you do fertilize carbon maybe once a month if you want to take your lawn kind of on the upper tier there are every six weeks or so and then uh, iron and micronutrients you might want to try that like once or twice a year during the growing season but those things will really help you and uh, again you know if you have any questions about or if you have anything you think I should add to things that centipede grass loves I mean I know it loves sea kelp as well that's another one that you want to go kind of in low doses though I came out here a couple years ago and really kind of aggressively fed it some sea kelp and that stuff it has growth hormones in it and it'll make if you want your centipede grass to grow really fast without pushing nitrogen then that is a great way to do it if you want to feed your lawn like a liquid application of some sea kelp uh, it has growth hormones in it that make the grass grow vertically uh, really quickly so I was out here mowing like every couple of days because I've I kind of overfed it some sea kelp but that stuff is very powerful and it's great for plants all kinds of plants love it whether it's ornamentals or grass so that is another one I could put in there but I went with those top six as being kind of the most important uh, the most important is obviously their sunlight situation if you have too much shade you might want to trim back some limbs to provide a little bit more sun and mowing at the right height those are the most two most important items i think with centipede and the others are just you want to definitely keep in mind as you're feeding it or you know maintaining it throughout the year uh thanks for watching guys if you haven't subscribed consider doing so um i have links to products down in the description if you're interested that are recommended for centipede that are good good products uh if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. I'll try to get to them and, uh, you know, let me know if there's anything I may have missed that you think is worth adding to the conversation. And I appreciate you watching. Take care.